strike pricing game recap may contain profanity toward the contestants' decision-making and pricing games that can be categorized as either stupid or being misled by the audience that's portrayed as a heel for entertainment purposes only. In reality, Mr. Horgan doesn't show any prejudice toward the contestants based on their gender, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Thursday, the 18th of October, 2012. Here are the pricing games that were played today. Five price tags, range game, swap meet, grand game, one right price, and dice game. Maria from Calgary, Alberta, Canada was the first contestant. She played five price tags for a chance to win a 2013 Mazda 6i Sport modeled by the ravishing and pregnant Rachel Reynolds. The five price tags were brought out by the awesome Amber Lancaster. In the true or false portion of the game, first off, the marvelous Manuela Arbelaez brought out a Bissell Little Green Compact Vacuum priced at $90. Maria believed that price was false. Mm-mm. Should have said true. It was true. Next, Rachel brought out the Mighty Badge Design software for, uh, to make name badges. Pretty cool. Priced at $150, Maria believed that price was false. No, that was true. I think that price of $150 was written all over that software, if you ask me. Looked uh, pretty uh, reasonable at that price. Alright, Manuela brought out now an Ionic Technology hair dryer priced at $49. Maria once again said false. And the third time was the charm because false was correct. It was $35. And finally, Rachel brought out a Cuisinart Convection stainless steel bread maker that has 16 preset menu options. Priced at $235, Maria believed that price was false. Well, fans like myself who watch The Price is Right regularly knew that price was indeed true, not false. So she only won one pick. Amber brought out the five price tags back on stage, and Maria chose $23,975 as her one and only choice. And behind the price of $23,975 was the word... No! The price of the car was $21,720. That's where the word win was. The other three prices that weren't the price of the car were $25,200, $22,640, and $24,485. Danea was the second contestant. She played range game for a chance to win a Kawasaki Ninja 650 middleweight motorcycle that has a 649cc liquid-cooled engine, digital fuel injection, and aluminum wheels ridden by the radical Rob Wilson, the winner of the male model search. The low price on the range was $7,100, and the high price on the range was $7,700. Danea froze the $150 range between about $7,305 and $7,455. I felt she stopped the range a little too early, and Sports Guy 528 thought the same thing, too. Well, when the actual retail price was lit up in the dark green strip, it turned out to be $7,400! Ninety-nine! Should have went a little bit higher. Richard was the third contestant. He played swap meet for a chance to win these four prizes. First off, we had his and her Sultana watches that have a stainless steel bracelet and is Swiss made. That was mauled by Manuel. 
And the other three prizes were a Bosch Home Appliances Stainless Steel Dishwasher from Plessers.com that has a 19-hour delay start timer for wash cycles and an, and an energy efficient design. There you go. Modeled by Rachel. We also had a Mac Pro desktop computer that has 6 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, plus a 27-inch monitor and an all-in-one printer included. Modeled by Rob. And a pair of Sony digital cameras that can record HD movies and take astounding low-light pictures and has an E-mount 18 to 55 millimeter lens, modeled by Amber. Richard chose to swap the watches with the cameras. I felt good on that choice. Amber revealed the price of the cameras, and they were $1,400. So if the watches were $1,400, Richard would win all four prizes. And when Manuela revealed the price of the his and her Sultana watches, they turned out to be... $1,400! Richard won all three, uh, four prizes, excuse me, for a grand total of $7,167. The dishwasher was $749, revealed by Rachel, and Rob revealed the price of the computer to be $3,618. I have to say, if Flavor Flav was up on stage and witnessed Richard winning all four prizes, he'd more than likely say this to him. Yeah, boy. <laughs> okay, Peter was the fourth contestant who recently got married to his fiance Leslie, played grand game for a chance to win up to $10,000. Of course, he had to start off with just $1, and the target price today was $5. Peter first chose the six pouches of strawberry splash fruit gushers made from Betty Crocker. The price revealed by Drew was $2.99. He went up to $10. Next, he chose the eight packets of Crystal Light Lemonade Mix. Drew revealed the price to be $3.49. He went up to $100. Next, he chose the 12-ounce bag of Green Giant Broccoli Florets. Drew revealed the price to be $1.59. He went up to $1,000. Peter decided not to take the $1,000 and quit. He went on for $10,000 and he believed that the two quarts of Mozilla corn oil was less than five dollars. Gotta be honest with you, I did not like that choice. And when Drew revealed the price of the corn oil after he gave it to Peter to hold on for good luck, it was... seven forty-nine! And he lost the one thousand dollars. He should have chose the Liquid Plumber Drain Care Urgent Clear Cleaner. I was expecting that to be $4.69, but it turned out to be $3.99. And the one and a half quart of Briar's Vanilla Fudge Twirl Ice Cream was $5.99. Andrea from Utah, California, who sells food for a living, was the fifth contestant. She played one right price for a chance to win these two prizes. A trip to Palm Springs, that she will go there by limo, by a chauffeur, and includes a six-night stay in a full view king room, including a gourmet tasting dinner menu at the Saguaro Hotel. That was modeled by Manuel. Also, a three-piece antler liquidite soft, super lightweight luggage set that has a tough polycarbonate A-plus shell and has easy travel and mobility wheels modeled by Amber. The one right price of $3,700 was bought out by Rob. Andrew believed it went to the trip to Palm Springs. I felt that was a little too much for the trip, so I was thinking the luggage. Well, when Rob placed the price of $3,700 on the trip to Palm Springs and revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be... 
$700! Andrea won both prizes, including the luggage that was priced at $2,100 for a grand total of $5,800. Pretty good. Cater from Redondo Beach, who is unemployed, was the last contestant. She played dice game for a chance to win a 2013 Hyundai Accent GLS sedan modeled by Manuela. Amber and Rachel brought out the dice game table. The first number in the price of the car was one. For the second number, Hadar rolled a four. Was for the second number? No, it wasn't. She went higher. For the third number, she rolled a five. Was five the third number? No, it wasn't. She went lower. For the fourth number, she rolled a two. Was two the fourth number? No, it wasn't. She went higher. And finally, for the fifth number, she rolled a five. Was five the last number? Yes, it was! So she had pretty good odds on winning this car, if you ask me. Alright, first we went to the second number. Was it higher than a four? Yes, it was. It was a six. Now, Drew was hoping that the third number was not a six, as he didn't want double sixes to appear in the price. Was the third number lower than a five? Yes, it was. It was a four. And now it all came down to the fourth number. The only number it could not be was a one. Any number higher than two would win her the car. I was thinking three as I was playing along at home. And when they lit up the fourth number in the price of the 2013 Hyundai Accent GLS sedan, it was... A one! That damn Mike Richards was at it again! Oh man! Actual retail price, $16,415. If Francine Frensky from Arthur uh, it was witnessing that very uh, painful and shocking loss, I think she'd more than likely shout this to her TV. What? what is right? I everyone was in total disbelief. And I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. Alright, on to the acknowledgments. According to Ben Mason Television, today's grand game is the first cash game playing in the number four slot this season. And according to him in Dice Game, all he needs to say in his that's too much, Tone! Mike Richards, stop making this game hard to win! I know. And according to NBC 11 News Clips, we almost had an El Skunko show for the second time this season. Swappy got its first win on the first playing this season. And in Grand Game, Drew passed the Missoula Corn Oil to Peter for his luck. And after he loses the game, he lost his luck. Yes, he did. Today we had two pricing games. One, they were swap meet and one right price. Therefore, Richard and Andrea are the MVPs of the Price is Right. Andrea also won her showcase. That involved a three-piece bamboo bar set that has a thatched roof and... that has a thatched roof bar and two bamboo bar stools, modeled by Amber. Also a beachcomber hybrid hot tub that... That has, I don't mean to, I don't mean to stumble, I don't want to, yeah. in the annotations I'll put in the full description of the Beachcomber Hybrid Hot Tub, and that was modeled by Rachel, and she also won a Yamaha VX Deluxe Wave Runner that has an ultralight 1052cc engine, jet pump propulsion system, and Seating for three, trailer included, written by Rob and Manuela. Andrea bid $17,500. The actual retail price, $22,554, a difference of $5,054. Andrea won a grand total of $29,048 in prizes on today's show.
Now for this week's sponsor. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap provided by Cadbury Dairy Milk Milk Chocolate. Welcome to Joyville. Now I'm actually not going to be able to do the pricing and recap tomorrow because I'm going to a Halloween party with my friend. So I'm going to be giving the sponsor a spoiler early tonight. Next week the Price is Right pricing and recap will be sponsored by Super Pretzel. So I'm requesting for Money 7373 to fill in for me for tomorrow's Price is Right pricing and recap. Unless, if Secret X or Golden Road gets played, Sports Guy 528 will do the price name recap. Or if Spelling Bee, Punch a Bunch, and That's Too Much gets played, J Man Diesel will do the recap. Or if a combination of both Sports Guy 528 games and J Man Diesel games gets played, the two of them will do a price name recap together. And uh, I'm not quite sure which channel it will be on if that happens. And uh, speaking of Sports Guy 528, he wanted me to give the losing horns to the New York Yankees. Why, you ask? Well, tonight, the Yankees lost to the Detroit Tigers, with the final score being 4-1 to in Game 4 of the ALCS. The Yankees got shut out, and now the Tigers are going into the World Series. I would love the St. Louis Cardinals to make it into the World Series. And no offense to NBC11 News Clips' team that he's rooting for, the San Francisco Giants. Both the Cardinals and the Giants are currently in the NLCS. So I predict Cardinals and Tigers for the World Series this year. Just to throw that out. So, until next week, this is Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. See you next time.